Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching Rick and Morty Vindicator 3 The Return of World Ender. Let's see how this goes. Don't let any of those things get away, Morty. If their DNA gets into Earth's food chain, our entire species could be sterilized. Then why aren't we killing them? Right, next time I need a species sterilized, who's gonna do it for me? You? <laughs> Rick, is that the Vindicator? We're being called to assemble by the Vindicators! I refuse to answer a literal call to adventure, Morty. Let it go to voicemail! Rick! The Vindicators only call when the universe itself is at stake! They're the first line of defense against evil! I don't even want to know about the origin of this spermatozoid creature, Rick. Guardians of the Unguarded! They're the writers of their own press releases, Morty. They're a bunch of drama queens that spend an hour talking and 20 minutes jumping around while shit blows up. They're a phase. We did one. It was the big event of that summer. <laughs> Let it die. I, Morty Smith, invoke my right to choose one in every ten Rick and Morty God. adventures. Read them and we They really have that. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yes! <laughs> Vindicator command ship, beacon received. We're doing Vindicators too! Whoops. Uh, Morty, you might want to freeze some sperm. But this one does imply the fact that Morty from now on is kind of unable to choose the adventure they go on. Well, it was about time. That guy is like the Russian kid in your CSGO team. World Ender is back, and this time he's out to end more than worlds. We have reason to believe his stronghold is located on... My balls. Rick! The Tyrannia system. Once in range, million ants will scan for pheromone activity, which should lead us to the location of the base. Pheromone base. activity. That's million ants. I can't see the ants from over here. I just... Assume that was, a uh, turd man. Wiggly turd man. Rick, stop! Rick, you have something to add to the briefing? Uh, yeah, just a few more design notes. Um, this guy, the, uh, the, uh... I am Crocubot. <laughs> right, Crocubot. Crocubot. So, you're half cold, unfeeling reptile, half also cold, equally unfeeling machine. Yes. Wow, so your origin is what? You, you, you fell into a vat of redundancy? <laughs> God damn! No, no. Crocubot. Out of every single name in this universe for a cool crocodile robot, I would have gone for X Croc. We're having a briefing. If I can continue, Rick, I anticipate. Wait, was that poopy butthole in the background? I trust you can be of service there. Well, let me check my list of powers and weaknesses. Ability to do anything, but only whenever I want. Yeah, it sounds like a job for me. I wish he had the ability to check his attitude. Alan Rails, ladies and gentlemen. After his parents' tragic death in a railroad accident, he gained the power to yeah. summon ghost trains. It's not all bad, though. They were spared having to see their grown son wear a whistle. God damn! Thanks, noob noob. This guy gets it. Is that not poopy butthole? Perhaps it is his brother who has to pay the bills for his paralyzed body. Also, the cosmic pens of that lady. God damn. It's Maximus, renegade star soldier. Sorry, Maximus, boy. renegade star happy soldier. Hour. <laughs> <laughs> happy hour. Uh, I was also late because of my drinking and mentioned it to zero applause. Rick Sanchez, tinkerer of terror. Man, that's hard to say. And Morty, right? Whoa, yeah! I never forget a kid. What do you say, Vindicators? Let's make this three for three? Yes. Uh, All right! Did he say three for three? Did he say he never forgets a kid? You mean two for two, right, Vance? No, whenever he does this thing with his lips, that's an asshole, ladies and gentlemen. If you intentionally raise your lip like that when you're talking to somebody, you're a cringy asshole. Actually, we assembled a second time last summer to fight Doomnomatron. So this is... Vindicators 3? Oops. I sense insecurity. Are you sure there's not just a picnic nearby? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he found his crowd. <laughs> Pretty toothless stuff, guys. Man, is this lame. They lost Lady Katana, Calypso, Diablo Verde. Yikes. Yeah, things did feel less diverse in there. This article says the reason we weren't involved was personality conflicts. Don't worry, Morty. They love you. Superheroes need a wide-eyed, unremarkable to tag along and react to everything like it's mind-blowing. I think the personality conflict might have been... you? Puh. Let's be frank. Usually superheroes, they don't take very kindly to people that have a uh, deeper personality. It's all about wearing a cheesy suit and one-liner jokes. Hello, Marvel. How awesome is that? I mean, they wanted to not need me so bad they murdered three innocent heroes of color and they still had to bring me back? Rick, since it's my adventure... Heroes of color. Do me a favor. Uh, the adventure is the favor. Morty, me sleeping on these linens is the favor. I mean, what, 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 what are we vindicating? Comfort? Rick, this really bums me out. It, it's embarrassing to find out these guys don't like us. Why? Morty, <clears throat> I defeat Gagu's more powerful than these guys every week. Yeah, but not heroes. Oh, please. They just call themselves heroes so they can... I'm calling them that, Rick. They're my heroes. They're assholes, Morty. Probably child molesters. Huh. No accounting for taste. 
I'm gonna go get a drink. Well, probably he would have also called Rick a hero if he did not uh, nearly kill him like 20 times. Good morning, Vindicators. Ship has arrived at Tyrannia's system. All Vindicators report to the briefing room. The the room from the uh, the, it's the di it's a different room than than conference room. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's my first day as a PA system. <laughs> first day jitters. Oh God. Good morning. Had a long Why don't you escort me? What what do you eat to shit like that? That is quite impressive. I really want to believe that it was an act of uh, fecal intercourse, pure scatological desires. To a more comfortable spot so that someone can <sighs> clean up his diarrhea. Diarrhea. Uh, I'm nervous about my first mission. Actually, Noob Noob, you have a new mission. God damn. Vindicators, prepare for a ride. Poor Noob Noob. Oh, I, I totally get it. I, I'm so sorry. You should be. Running around in a yellow t-shirt like you're not one of us? Disgraceful. Uh, I... I... I'm not a superhero. I just kind of have to Everyone make a choice here. A hero. All you have to do is know the difference between good and bad and root for good. Rick says good and bad are artificial constructs. Yeah, well, I get the feeling he kind of needs that to be the case. Not coming, Noob Noob? <laughs> oh, no. I, I got stuff to do here. That lip really pisses me off. Don't elevate your lip like that. If I ever find out that you do that, I will find you. And I will give you the Joker lips. All aboard! Gun turret. Are you alright? Yes. I only lost 400 ants. My queen is laying more. I am back to one million ants. Someone wake up, Sanchez. Oh, oh, Christ. <laughs> Rick, you're up. Barely. We're taking fire from an automated turret. Can you bring it offline? Uh-huh. Is he doing like a substance for him to drink? <laughs> uh. That is the ultimate life hack that Rick offers all of us. Make yourself irreplaceable and you can be an absolute shithead. God, that's better. Rick! Hey, I can't help if I can't see. Out of a CD, it creates a device that goes and infiltrates the machine guns hanging on the wall. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna question that. Used a ghost train. Really? You don't say. You would have used a ghost train. Hey, everybody! The ghost train guy would have used a ghost train. Is there coffee? Hey, Morty, can you be a pal? Grandpa left his coffee maker on the ship. You know the French press thing. Get it yourself. A little extra snippy this morning, aren't you? Just focus on the mission, all right? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. Oh, real serious. Gotta take it real serious, huh? Yeah. I think this is Rick and Morty trying to mock the fact that uh, superheroes, they tend to take themselves so seriously. There is not a single tendency of f***ing up or not giving a shit in those stories. Son of a steam engine. They're all dead. Why would World Ender do this to his own men? And several women. Well, he is the world ender. <laughs> Guy ends worlds. Kind of his thing. Ooh, real scared. Real f***ing on alert. High alert over here. What the What the f***? It's world ender. Million ants, ladies and gentlemen. The ant colony with the power of two human eyes. <gasps> All right, short mission. Good mission. Remember when Alan wanted to use a ghost train? See you guys at Vindicators 4. Morty? Rick, whoever did this is an even bigger threat than World Ender. We can't leave now. He's right. This is far from over. Well, have fun with that, but Morty and I have to meet a Lady Comet, a monorail man, two assholes, and a full alligator in like an hour. Yeah, that's a good schedule, yes. But that is a very good sign to shit yourself. Imagine finding a polar bear dead with, the, with his asshole penetrated. If a creature on this planet is really able to do that, then... Shit. Uh, no portal for you. Of a greater evil. Check, check. One, two. Okay. Is it recording? Good. Hello, Vindicators. Welcome to your reckoning, baby! Well, 
It's official. I had too much to drink last night. <laughs> yeah, Did he set up this? You're, you know, the vindicators. So now that we know that Rick, you guys what's going on, buddy? Obviously, I came here last night during a blackout. Obviously? You came here and defeated our arch nemesis? So, <laughs> so Rick is the one that uh, had intercourse with, with the polar bear. Once again, make yourself irreplaceable. Doing it? That's something obvious to you? Look, I'm a, a little more complex than you guys, and no offense, but I've always suspected that a lot of what you do in a year could be knocked out in a couple of hours. So I thought, why not just do your job for you so we can have a little fun game? Break the rules, lose the game, or try to leave, you will die. Like in uh, Saw. Like in Saw, yeah. I was about to say that this is a Saw reference. Room number one. The Vindicators are known throughout the galaxy, but do they know yourselves? Do you know yourselves? Match your your shit, your, your gimmicks with your faces, and y y you get it. It's a matching thing. And do it in three minutes or you'll all die. Imagine having to compete in something like this against your drunk self. I always thought that Rick was a little bit less harmful when he was drunk. I was kind of wrong. <laughs> Screw this. I'm not playing his game. I'm gonna find us. He's gonna get killed out. right now. Hold on, Vance. He said you'd die if you tried to leave. That means there's booby traps. Why are you acting like that's not you? What part of blackout don't you understand? I thought you drank. Like cool drinking, like sexy drinking. Not this psycho trailer park shit. Vance, stay calm. Oh, so you're the leader now because we gave you a jacket? You're the learning disabled kid we do photo ops with. Okay, uh, ouch, but... Okay, this, this is triggering me. I need space. I, I need space from this! I'm gonna die. <laughs> nice! Hell yeah! <laughs> that is very redeeming, ladies and gentlemen. I told you what was gonna happen if you keep doing this fucking lip thing. I instantly knew that Rick's diarrhea is not a very good sign here. Please don't draw a swastika out of guts and blood. Nice. Give me one reason why I should crush you when fight. Guess he's gonna kill you in five seconds? Place with a nanofiber defense mesh. And because, like I said, I don't remember last night. I told you not to invite this mummified mother. I figured it out. Congrats, you did it. it. It was a bit. All of the descriptors apply to all of you. Drunk Rick's point is that none of you are very special or different. Yeah. That's always his point. Let's just get through this as quickly as possible. Then we'll deal with the two of you. The two of us? I hope you're proud of yourself. Uh, I kind of am. I saved the goddamn universe. That's not the issue, Rick. Uh, I would have been if I hadn't. Well, when you're the primal enemy for the universe, of course it's easy to save it from yourself. But I really do enjoy this process of deconstructing the gimmicks of those lame superheroes. The Vindicators say their job is to fight evil wherever it hides. But they don't pick the location you'll... You'll never hear them even mention. Because to fight darkness is to fight yourself. Oh, I know this. Dorian 5. Crocubot, don't. There's no other possible answer. My mechanical and reptilian logic are certain of it. No! Huh. I'm seeing more croc than bot here. God damn it. Uh, what happened on Dorian 5? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? We exterminated a planet. <laughs> huh? Nice. Namatron was hiding there. He's a shapeshifter. Destroying Dorian 5 was the only way to kill him. Come you on, see, guys, Rick all... is honest in this whole situation. He's the only one that's frank. He knows he's an asshole, but those people, they don't want to admit that. The mere diarrhea of Rick is more complex than all of those superheroes put together. Don't... <coughs> Don't make me say it. Oh, okay. This again? You know, I could have made you a device to detect Doomnomatron from orbit like that. I'm not the one that didn't want you back. Alan was. If you lay those deaths in my doorstep one more day, do not threaten her. Deconstruction. <laughs> What the hell is Israel? It's, it's something Rick starts talking about when he's blackout drunk. <laughs> In what way? Like, what, what, what's my point? In a way that has no point? You just babble about defense budgets in the United Nations and then you pass out. So, <laughs> sometimes reference the geopolitical complexities of the topic, which is not the same as going to an anti-Semitic place. I have no <laughs> I don't know, but from the perspective of the proudness and the self-defense, Rick would uh, definitely be on the side of Israel. But it's really gonna take a little bit more than the Vindicators to stop that conflict in the Middle East. If anything, the drunk version of me is probably so supportive of Israel, he wants what's best for it and- Hey man, <laughs> I'm not touching this. Oh, with a seven foot pole. 
means hello and goodbye in Hawaii, but uh, aloha means has nothing to do with this room. <coughs> I'm so drunk. Uh, okay, here's the deal. I I want to rest my eyes for a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to sleep. I just just need to rest my eyes. So let's make this one simple. Just try to hit some three pointers. Let's say <laughs> you've hit five three pointers in nice. five minutes, or I don't know. The whole place, the whole planet will get blown up with a neutrino bomb. And try to make it a, a lesson about yourselves, like like how selfish you are, are or something. And also Hawaii. Oh. That, that is some next level uh, resent in Rick. The fact that in one single night, he put all of this shit together, that's impressive. It's impressive and it's definitely fueled by rage, unaccomplished desires, alcoholism and uh, Israel. No, that's cheating. That's a three-pointer. Nice shot. Thank you. You two make quite a team. Ah. We all do. Yeah, I guess. That's a three-pointer. But you guys have always had a, an unspoken bond. I mean, really unspoken. Like, let's not tell my husband unspoken. We aren't married anymore, Alan. Sure, but were we married when you two were stranded on Delphi six for three days? Because I sensed something was weird when you came back. But what do I know about sensitivity? I'm just a phantom train conductor. You're the pile of ordinary bugs that f my wife. That's a three-pointer. Where the f is the lead wire? The Who's put in the pile of bugs that uh, had intercourse with my wife. You know, if you reach a point in your life where your wife has a has sex with a pile of bugs, I think you're the problem. Weirdest place. I'm, uh, it's over here, maybe. Jesus Christ! What a shitty neutrino bomb. It's a miracle I ever actually destroy anything. Oh, I don't know. You managed to destroy just about Remorse? everything today. The villains, the heroes, the lines between them, my childhood. Thank you. I appreciate it, Morty. I know you were sucking the Kool Aid out of the Vindicator's <laughs> dick. So the fact that I was right about them must be pretty hard to admit. Yeah, it is. You know why, Rick? Because when you're an asshole, it doesn't matter how right you are. Nobody wants to give you the satisfaction. I know. Everyone wants people they like to be right. That's why popular people are f***ing dumb. And why your pretentious, poorly written, high-budget friends back there can eat a double-decker shit sandwich. Disarmed. Holy shit, you're jealous! Yes! Is that what you want to hear? Did it feel good? Did you like his six million wriggling legs more than my tragedy string? You don't really have to get descriptive about the sexual capacities of that uh, bug uh, creature. I don't really want to hear about how many ants he can stuck up this spatial vagi- Okay, we just move forward. Half ghost, half too messy penis! Guys, stop! You just proving my asshole grandpa right! You wish this was about sex. We loved each other. We had a child together. What? I conceived a child with million ants and it How died that, inside that? me because it was half a million ants and half <laughs> collapsing star! And yes, he was better than you. Yeah. One million times better. It, it died, but but there w there was no desire of aborting that, right? Imagine you actually come to an abortion clinic with that request. But to be fair, I don't think it's the worst they have ever dealt with. Ah, motherfucker! Stop! Stop! Ah, ah, ah! Whoa. Didn't see that coming. Is that sarcasm? Okay. Problems are gone. You do have one thing that I'll never have. And that thing is the only part of the Vindicators with any value to me. If you know what it is, place it on the platform. Guess wrong and the, pl the planet will explode and probably the solar system because I kind of fucking eyeballed the neutrino bombs on this one. I think no matter what we put on there, we die. He said it's the part of the Vindicators he values. That means nothing. It could, it could be Morty. What? Hey, I don't know. I mean, look, when I get drunk, I get stupid and emotional. <laughs> it could be. There's no logic to it. It's like... It's possible I got so drunk, I felt like I was losing Morty to the Vindicators, and maybe this is my way of saying, okay, you can have him, but only if you know how important uh, he is, otherwise I'll kill you. Look, he's cringing. He's not cringing from the fact that they're all about to die because of his drunk self. He's cringing because he has some remorse for his mother fucking grandson. Really specific guess. Look, uh, there's nothing in the room but us. I'm just using logic to connect some dots. It's the best guess I've got. But you're betting our lives on it. I'll cover that bet. I get it. Well, Morty, I think you're doing that smirky face because you're misinterpreting the moment. I am not being coy about some hidden love for you. I want to be really clear that if anyone has a better guess, like if I gave you an amulet last so... night. So... Or... <sighs> so he wanted to actually tell Morty that he loves and appreciates him, but he wanted to make it in a very subtle way so that uh, it's not lame. So that it's not a lame and goofy and cringe expression of his love. <gasps> 
Oh shit. Well. Well, never mind. Sorry. I'm not good at goodbyes and I'm drunk, so, you know, I just. It looks like I'm never gonna see you again. I can't really roll with the hero types and I don't. They, they don't want me around, but I want you to know, even if I didn't show it at the time, I really appreciated you sticking by me. <laughs> God damn it. What? There has to be. It makes no sense. There has to be a punchline here. You're probably confused because we barely know each other, but you really stuck your neck out when you gave me props for my awesome jokes in the briefing room. Everybody else had their heads so far up their ass, even my own grandson is like, oh, the Vindicator is so cool. It's not you! I mean, he's a moron. <laughs> Demographic. But you're different, noob noob. My it's not him! <laughs> Does this imply that they're all gonna explode right now? So Poopy Butthole's retarded brother was the answer. Motherfucker. <laughs> You're cool, and you're smart, and I bet we could have hung out and shit and, and do, do- This is so amazing. Don't, don't let them know I, I got emotional, but- Oh, fuck. Okay, I just shit myself. Okay, later. Diarrhea. Liquid diarrhea. Well, diarrhea cannot be solid. Dude, Morty, what happened to- Shut up! There's no right or wrong. Never said that. It's the galaxy's faith in the Vindicators that keeps the galaxy secure. Yeah, I feel safer already. No doubt. Who do we make the check out to? I will say, we are getting some good licks in while choking to death, right? Titty Bean, listen to me. When you came to me, I was merely a sentient colony of ants. It was your beliefs, your pursuit of justice that taught me to be a man. Oh! What? A man. So complicated. What is the concept of a man for a uh, for a ant-like structure? Why are the creatures of this universe so uh, man-centered? It's not as if they don't have other options like robosexual. We can make it simple again. You were always the romantic, which is why you can't leave either. <laughs> I'm sorry, my love. Remove the queen. Damn. She did she remove the queen. Nuzzles. Silence. I'm going to enjoy this. Let's give a huge thanks to Rick Sanchez for killing World Ender, putting this awesome party together, and for booking one of the hottest talents out there, Logic! So she unnecessarily killed her um, concubine? Well, never mind. I hated the living guts out of that guy. The living and guts out of that guy. Yeah! Look at that. Jeez, I must have planned a whole party. Invited a bunch of people. Not bad, Drunk Rick. Not bad. Where is Noob Noob? This is Choo Choo Train Man, he's rolling down tragedy. Everybody knows Supernova fights gravity. Rick, Supernova's getting away. Nah, who cares? But she was trying to kill us. Morty, 20 people try to kill me every week. I end up getting high with half of them. I mean, check it out, Gearhead's here. What kind of... <laughs> what kind of statistical evidence is that? It reminds me of the 10 spiders that you randomly swallow during the year or something like that. You're wearing a Vindicator jacket. Are you a little superhero now? Everyone in the universe is a hero, Mom. Which is why we don't need jackets. And I'm pretty sure we don't need Vindicators. Don't mind if I do. Hey, everybody! Look who's a Vindicator! Man, so you're sexual. Shit, babe. Shut up, Summer. Can't forget about the one who never seems to get a chance. No, no! All the bitches come around for... No, no! His dick gets more business than... You, too! Everybody... Who the f*** is Noob Noob? No, no! <laughs> <laughs> I really feel that Noob Noob doesn't get the love it deserves. All I want to know is if Poopy Butthole is alright. Gear Crane with a Vindicator. So, you girls in gear college or gear... Alien terror attack! Okay. Gear so studies. Like job for me. I better go get into my alter ego. <gasps> so cool. Oh no. Wait, what alter ego? He was already wearing the jacket. Gotta know when to hold him and But it was about time. It was about time. Do the gear people also have a gear studies at the university? That little punchline at the end with Noob Noob being the favorite creature of Rick. That is quite amazing. They just make you feel that he overthought this and did some amends when it comes to his relationship with Morty and finally acknowledge him as his grandson. And also, of course, we've touched upon the topic of uh, Rick having some... Uh, issues with Israel, which he does not want to have confused with the anti-semitism, of course. Additionally, we also had a storyline in which uh, superheroes were deconstructed or their cheesy gimmicks. Rick just wanted to make them take the pink glasses off for a second and then fucking explode. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching. This would mean like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Screw you guys. Am a game. I remember after World War I, everyone um, was celebrating 
uh, dancing in the streets. Uh, people were calling it the war to end all wars. But I, I couldn't be happy because I knew round two was inevitable. I literally told Savannah, the Treaty of Versailles is too harsh, you know. I want to punish the Germans as much as anyone, but this is too far. It's a tinderbox waiting to explode.